Hi friends. It's so nice to see you again. I'm just sitting in my backyard. I have a little sofa out here. I was just sitting out in my backyard and um, I thought I would read you a story. Um, I have this story by um, this very cool author and illustrator. His name is Eric Carl. Can you say Eric Carl? Yeah, Eric Carl is um, an author and an illustrator um, of a lot of stories. Um, what does the author do? The author writes the words, you're right. And the illustrator draws the pictures, yes. And Eric Carl, he did both. He is the author and he's the illustrator. And Eric Carl loves to do painting on his pictures when he's the illustrator. Um, he likes to do finger painting. Um, and I'll show you some of the finger painting he does in this story. This story, the title is called The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. Say click beetle. A click beetle is an insect. And when um, the click beetle falls on its um, back, it can do a click and flip itself back over so it lands on its feet. And this story is about a very clumsy click beetle. Do you know what the word clumsy means? Push pause, tell your family, what do you think clumsy means? Did you have an idea? Yeah? Um, I'll tell you, clumsy means um, like a little, uh, a little wild, kind of a little wild, like you might bump into things. Oh, I'm so clumsy. You might drop things. Oh, I'm so clumsy. That's called clumsy. This click beetle in this story is very clumsy. Let's see what happens. The Very Clumsy Click Beetle by Eric Carl. Now look at this page he did. Look what he did with his fingers. He, uh, he got paint and then he took his, um, he did finger painting and then he got his nails and he did scratching, scratching, scratching on the paint with his nails. So you can see the scratches. That's very cool. Maybe um, I'm sure when we go back to kindergarten, um, Mr. Bruska and I will put out some paints and we will let you guys do some finger painting. It's very fun. Or you could do it at home too. The Very Clumsy Click Beetle. Here is the title page. All right, let me move and get just set up just right for you. There we go. One fine morning, a young click beetle decided to go for a walk. There he is. At noon, that means at 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock noon, it climbed up and down a flower. In the afternoon, it climbed through a pile of pebbles. And in the evening, it crawled on the tall blades of grass. Now, Eric Carl, when he did these, um, when he was the illustrator in this story, he um, did a lot of finger painting and then he cut out the paper to make the grass look like that. He did finger painting for the pebbles and then he cut them out into be a pebble. And when it turned night, the young click beetle crept up into a tree. After a while, it got tired and he fell to the ground, but he landed on his back. The young click beetle tried very hard to turn over onto its feet, but it couldn't. Help, help, he cried. All along, an older, wiser click beetle had been watching the young click beetle. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I will teach you how to click and flip through the air and land on your feet, said the wise old click beetle. In the meantime, you may as well go to sleep. Good night. Good night, said the young click beetle. The next morning, the wise old click beetle said, look at me, this is how it is done. First, it turned onto its back 
and then with a loud click, it flipped through the air and it landed on its feet. Now you try, said the wise old click beetle. Thank you, that looks easy enough, said the young click beetle. Just then, an earthworm stuck its head out of, up out of the ground. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back again. How very clumsy of me, said the cl young click beetle. Just then, a turtle came strolling by. Better luck next time, said the turtle. Keep trying. Ooh, I think it's a story about sticking to it. Because look, the little click beetle, he didn't just do it the first time. He has to practice and practice and practice and keep trying. And then, hopefully, he'll get to do it. We'll see. Look at me, said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air. Oh, but it landed on its back again. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. And just then, a snail was slithering by. Don't worry, said the snail. You'll get there. Just keep trying. Mm, okay, well, look at me said the young click beetle. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air, but it landed on its back once again. How very clumsy of me, said the young click beetle. Just then, a mouse came scurrying by. You, you just need more practice, said the mouse. Just keep trying, don't give up. Keep trying, you just need to practice some more, that's all. <sighs> okay, said the young click beetle. Look at me now. And with a loud click, it flipped through the air. Oh boy, but it landed on its back. And just then, oh no, wait, what was this? The young click beetle had never seen anything so big. It could not move. It was so scared. Oh, look, it's a person. I hope he's going to be kind to the click beetle. I hope he's not going to squish it. I hope he learned about taking care of the earth just like us and taking care of all the insects and all the animals. Qu quick, click and flip, cried the old wise click beetle. Hurry up, hurry up. And the young click beetle clicked and flipped and flipped and flipped through the air, but this time it did three giant flips and landed on its feet. He didn't give up and now he landed on his feet. Yay. Look at you, shouted the wise old click beetle. You have done it. Congratulations. Thank you, said the young click beetle. The end. Look at all that finger painting. I love that story. We have more stories um, by this author, Eric Carl. We will read to you on another day. Um, in the meantime, if you want to do some, if you have paint at your house, Maybe you could do some finger painting like Eric Carl. That would be fun. Make a picture with some finger painting. I'm sure families will enjoy that. All right, penguins and dolphins. I'll see you again on another day. Thanks for reading with me. Bye. I miss you so much. I hope I get to see you again soon. Bye.